After all the movies I've made until now, so we have an, uh, a theme we have made, we have a plank, a wallpaper that rotates every five uh, minutes. So when we scroll over this little icon, we get a new wallpaper. What I really like as well is Kongi. We're going to extract the theme that we've downloaded for s from SourceForge. SourceForge quite difficult word to pronounce that's a bit little bit better and lighter so this one we're going to open it and you see there are a lot of uh, folders inside and there is files and, and design so maybe first off when I would be you what would I do um, not this of course I would want to look for instance at the images so if you just have select this from there and up open image viewer and you see by with this uh, quick uh, overview what you will be getting and what information you can get out of your computer but that's because that is conky you can get information about your CPU your signal your IP address your swap your memory your whatever uh, feeds you can read satellite images and so on uh, Spotify works uh, covers are being downloaded from the internet and so on so all this information is available but you have to do some stuff for it what uh, can we do what shall we do we have to look for auto Linux Rebecca cinnamon Aurora dot sh or if you are on Ubuntu there's a specific uh, program you see the name behind it it's a program so you can run it how do you know if you can run it right, a right mouse click on permissions and you see there is an X so these two can run there's another two here but that is for me that is for changing version and date or changing the code which of course you can use as well as a program but forget about these two it's about this one this installs Linux Mint if you don't trust it read again there's a readme here there is installations there the start reading here there's a lot of information inside also in the files themselves like for instance um, just take one a big one and you see that there the source there is also always an, a mention of a source if available of course and there you can read more on the internet going back to what I was going to do so we're going to run this now you could double click this and run it in the terminal I would advise against it not because you can't do it you can do it it's no problem but I rather use um, a terminal so I can see what's going on so if you open it here, you have here an open a terminal in active folder. For instance, in one of our movies we have activated this and the transparency as well. So if you like this, go back and see one of the other movies. So we're going to have to tell the computer, run this. I'm going to do this bash minus X, meaning that is going to debug it, so going to give more information available than normally which is good for the first time see what's going on and then this folder here and what do you take you take the A big A not a small A it's a uh, sensitive Linux in that way auto and then I press the tab the tab auto completes it but now it says Ubuntu or Linux so I have to tell him big L and then tap and then I don't have to type all the rest okay so we're going to run this you type the password for your account there is just one PPA that's going to be inserted and that was on top here if you're wondering what I'm saying repository there's just one repository from uh, DJ who makes the conkey it's, it's going to be edited and it's going to be downloaded inserted and all this information is pretty geeky but you can just minimize it as well and let it do its thing but it's always interesting to enjoy and see what's happening preparing and packing in incredible stuff
let's just wait for that to process most important thing I want to have said that in by the end of the movie uh, five times is that the map that you download is normally not called Aurora it's called uh, Aurora version number etc so the version number has to be gone it should be just Aurora now he wants to scan my computer what is he going to do it's a program called sensors detect so every hardware is different it's going to look is there a CPU yes okay how uh, can we know by means of programs that it is hot or not hot so Celsius the the fans are they uh, what speed are they turning stuff like that so basically just say yes all the time yes 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 and run this program uh, that's a premature yes okay nothing happens just just yes 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 I will by this by the uh, for for the need of the movie I am going to say next time no <laughs> so it's going to look at probing eh? probing all different kind of yeah devices seeing is there a maxim is there a national semiconductor etc etc so he's going to look at my hardware my motherboard and he's going to see what is in there and what sensors can I use please stop What can we do in the meantime? Let's put him a bit on the side. I mean, oh maybe it's interesting to show that the Linux Mint has the capability of moving windows in a fourth, one fourth of the screen, or in the half of the screen, and things like that. That's which is pretty neat. As you can see, you can move it around, and then you can do your thing. What else can we do while we're waiting? well in the meantime we can go to the home page there you can uh, a home page the home map <coughs> Aha, I have the time to stop no please stop with it no just enter to continue do you want to add these lines automatically to ATC modulus yes of course so yes and done the script has uh, stopped the only thing I have to do now is put this map, which is second time I tell this now I think, no version number behind it, Aurora with a big A. All the files are inside and you have to put these files in the hidden map. Where do you find a hidden map? Where it is hidden. Show hidden files, Ctrl H and it is hidden in the Conky file, you have to remember that name conky um, map or folder and there you put it in that's it now you're set to go where is the program just type in conky here it is and when you press this button things happen Hopla, in behind the screen so if you install the conky manager you get for free these conkeys and this one can find on the com on the SourceForge. If you check this out, you see Aurora. These are all the Aurora teams, and in the end, these are all the new teams, not from me, but from the creator DJ Tech here. So, for instance, let's see that it works, and then we end this movie. This is the last one I made, and voila. What's also interesting is the theme. I also made a theme for it because this looks a bit out of place, but not if we do it like this. I thought this would be nice when it's late at night and your eyes are starting to get sore. Maybe some of you are looking at this item here. Why isn't this working? Very simple. 
we have a, a clean done a clean install and the thing you have to do after clean install specifically if you have an NVIDIA is going to this button here and running it that was just my password now it's already working that's why it's taking so long it's looking what's inside this computer what uh, graphic card does he have an ATI and NVIDIA and he's going to say okay look you can have recommended you can have this one and then this information will be available as well how uh, warm is my CPU uh, my GPU from the NVIDIA card I'm going to apply the changes but I'm not going to wait around this was the movie and the end of the session for Linux Mint.